What is up, YouTube? What is up, guys? Should I say it's your favorite YouTube channel here, or at least your favorite Neon YouTube channel here, or the one and only Neon YouTube channel here. So, I was trying to think of a video. Sorry, guys, no Shay here today. I know you guys just watch my videos just for she Shay, but I got meat. Right, meat? What's up, buddy? Say hi. Say what's up, YouTube? What's up, bro? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I was trying to think of a video. You know, it's cold as shit. You can see my brow. I don't know if y'all can see that on film. <sighs> yeah, you can see that shit. That's not smoke. That's not smoke. But it is fog from my voice or whatever you want to call it. Steam. But, anyways, I was trying to make a video. Think of a video to make. Um, I'm just cold. I don't want to be down here. Plus, nobody's here to hang out with me except for me. And he's cold. Sound cold. I'm going to go to the house, Dan. So, we're just going to make a video of the things I have for my turbo build. All of the toys and gadgets and gadgets that I've saved up for my neon turbo build. My 600 horsepower build. So, we're going to start out with this beautiful box intake I have. Unfortunately, it... It has actually one thing, it's either, I think it's a 70 millimeter throttle body that's on here. It's a Jeep throttle body. It is more, it's a 4.0 Jeep throttle body. You guys can tell me I'm more likely wrong. But it's a nice big throttle body. It's huge. It's got a good one. But unfortunately, there's one issue with this thing. It is It has a crack here. It has a crack here. Let me turn the flash on. So we're back. So it has a crack here, as I was saying. Um, it has a crack right here. If you look hard enough, you can see the oil that spits through. And there's another crack. I forget. I know there's that. that bit. This is the worst crack of them all, though. You can see it. I mean, it, it sucks. And then there's the one there. I'm pretty sure and that's it. But I could be wrong. I sanded them all out so I could fill it all in. I was going to use JB Well, but I want to do it right. So what I want to do, I got to get someone to fix this for me. One of these days, one of my one of my YouTube fam will be a nice aluminum welder, or I'll just figure it out myself, and he'll come fix this shit for me professionally. I don't want it some hacker garage fucking welded shit. But what I was thinking is just have it, because this is all like stop sign material. It's real thin, this is stock intake, you know. This piece right here, the flange, that's a good flange. See? That flange is a good flange. It's nice and thick. So what I need to do is I need to cut this flange off of here for my map. Cut that flange off there for the Jeep throttle body. And then just chop it off right here at the stock intake. And then build a new box. Same dimension, same shape, same everything. Or maybe you can even line up this line with that. To make it look a little cleaner, you can go on Modern Performance and look at the, uh, what is it, the AMM intake. I used to have one on my single cam, but they're like 600 bucks, and I'm good on buying that. I can spend that on injectors or something else expensive. But I want to get this intake fixed. Worst comes to worst, I'll just sandblast the bitch, JB weld the bottom, and paint it. And just be done with it. Powder coat it, or whatever. So, next we're going to move over to, uh... Let's go to the first drawer. So in the first drawer we have our internals. We have our Wiseco pistons. This one I just have taken apart right now too because they're 20 overboard. Um, basically almost brand new. You know they have a little bit of wear on them, like 500 miles I think it was, maybe a thousand. Um, the oil was still clean, but uh, yeah, these are 20 overboard. This is the stock block. And just for all of y'all who are wondering why, why, why do you take the built internals out of this motor and put them in that motor? Well, the reason behind that is this one is an SRT4 block. That is a regular 2.4 out of a 90 head to 01 Stratus. And uh, the crank setup on them are completely different. See, this crank is in the front. See the flywheels right there? The crank, water inlet tube. So over here on this motor, you have your water inlet tube should be right here coming down. You have your flywheel down there, and the crank sensor would have been right there on the SRT, but on the Stratus, it's on the back right here. Um, 
beside the oil pump. You know, the oil pump's on here. It should be right there. You know? I have them set up exactly the same, you see. But um, the problem with this motor is to run an SRT4 block, you have to have a matching skim, matching key, matching ECU. Um, you have to have special link wiring harnesses, you know. And that adds up to almost $1,000 after you're all said and done. And that's ridiculous. I'm not spending a thousand dollars just to use this motor when I could put it all in this motor and get a mega squirt and run a standalone. Supposedly this block is stronger than this block is. It takes more boost or some shit. Um there's just a lot of benefits. I get to make a YouTube video for you guys. You know? I, I gotta bore these pistons out. So maybe I'll get my dad to help me or I'll just figure it out myself probably. But uh, I gotta overbore these 20 so that these f Wise Co pistons or West, I said West Coast, West Coast Customs here. Wise Co pistons will fit in there. You see, they're not fitting how they are. Slides right in here. I'm not going in here at all. Period. Not going. Maybe if I just showed you, you could see. Tops go in, but the bottoms will not go in. You know, they're supposed to have a little bit of play at the top, you know. This one, you know, no play whatsoever. It barely goes in there. Have to wiggle it out. You know, so these gotta be bored over. But before all that's done, we gotta uh, tear the block completely down. Tear, uh, what's stopping me right now, me and Shay, because Shay's doing this for me, is we got to get the oil pump off, and we got to take this pulley off, which requires a special pulley. I think we're going to rent it next weekend, take them both off, you know, then we can pop our oil pumps off. This one's brand new, so I'm going to take this SRT oil pump, put it on here so I can run an SRT oil pan, because I'm pretty sure I can do that. I haven't completely tested it yet. I need to completely drain this oil pan so I can... You know, mock that oil pan up to the stock 2-4 block and see if everything's the same up to this point. Because the bolt pattern is different on the oil pump, but the rest of the block looks exactly the same. So, we haven't made it to that point yet. Wait for Shay. We're going to do that. So, uh, I want to tear the oil pump off that, tear this block all the way down, take the bed plate off, pull the crank out, lay the crank somewhere. Maybe even get it micro-polished or cleaned. Um... I definitely want to get it all, whatever, it's hot tanked or acid dipped or whatever. Because if you can see this one, this one is so beautiful. Such a clean block. If y'all have been staying along with the, uh, the build, you know, Shay's been tearing it all down. And I've already showed you guys this, but... Yeah. A lot nicer than this one. This, I'm pretty sure this is a brand new motor someone got. It might even be a 2.6 stroker or something like that. I couldn't tell you. I'm not that smart. But anyways, tear that down, sandblast it, hot tank it or acid dip it. Then where I want to put it, powder coat the thing real nice matte black or maybe a gold or a purple. I haven't decided yet. A thick and gold or matte black. Probably just going to go with matte black to make it nice and uniform. Um, slap the crank back in with some brand new King uh, main bearings. Slap some new King uh, rod bearings on there. And that's the plan for that. But anyways, back over here, we got the Wise Cup Pistons Overboard 20, 20 over. We got Eagle Rods. Got our nice, beautiful Eagle Rod. See that? Ka um, up here, we have a manual IAC sensor. Um, that comes in later with because I got cams for it. My brother got me this nice tool to put my pistons in whenever I'm time. It's even Mac over here's the box. The box got soaked. Um, as you can see down here, we have bigger injectors. I think I want to get even bigger ones. I have this beautiful, I love this thing. I haven't used it on any car yet. I had it locked up in my SRT swap before I tore this motor out and put a PTGT in there. But here's my more speed motor mount. These things are nice. This goes on the, uh, the passenger side. Show you what it replaced. So this mount replaces this ugly mount. You can just imagine, you know, a lot cleaner. Fingers are cold. 
Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to use the valve cover that I have right here, but this will go on Shay's car when she gets the SRT spot. I have to use this first down one, but I think we're going to shave it down and get our own writings on it. Um, under here I have a Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. As you can see. So this will out to the side. So here's our injectors and our rail. Probably get a Boomba rail maybe. Ooh, didn't mean to drop that. This is a inlet air temperature sensor because this one screws in instead of plugging in. Pretty nice. See this resonance. Whatever. Don't focus there. You go. There's your threads. Pretty nice. Fingers are freezing, so we got the inlet air temperature sensor. Whoa, chill, bro. That's so bright. Take that piston cap for now. We have ARP rod bolts. I mean, not rod bolts, head bolts. These are ARP. I don't think I need to prove it to you. They got studs on them. Um, I'll be right back. All right. Um, had to restart. So I have an AGB trans AGP Angry Grandpa uh, transmission mount. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to use this, so I'll sell it. Uh, like I said, I got the Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. I have all the other lines. I just need to get the AM fittings. Uh, right there for now. Um, we have that's just the, the verb. Piece of shit. So we have the Cox Performance DCR Eiler Tensioner. It's got bigger bolts in it. If they have bolts bigger, that bolts nicer. It's just, you know, it's got their shit and grain going. It just costs more. It's nicer. You know, they have like stupid spring shit, you know, like the other ones do. We have, um, that's my corn housing. SRT trans. Yeah, thermostat housing. That sucks. I have a brand new gate cell, 2-4, says on there somewhere, but it's a DCR gate spell, you know, it comes straight from there, it's here somewhere, uh, it's brand new though, I never used it, um, also the rods have the ARP rod bolts in them, so, yeah, holds a little bit more power, not manly, but still nice. I'll say for myself. A rod bolt is in here. I'll be right. Alright, and that's it for the first door. So we'll put that out closed. We'll throw this idle air temperature sensor in. That's for the big can. Just the, not idle air temperature sensor, it's about the idle air control valve. We'll let you adjust your idle. We're going to have a second door. We have our Garrett AR60 Big Turbo. Um, I got a new rebuild kit for it. There was nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to rebuild it since I had a poor part. We'll probably sandblast that real nice. Make it look a little clean. We have the, uh, another Garrett. Uh, it was an AR-42. I got this on a trade. It needs rebuild. I don't have the rebuild kit for it yet. But there's the CHRA for the 42. There's the turbo, the exhaust housing. I have a downpipe and everything. It's all facade. Um, here's the internals of the Garrett 60. And it's all right here. I have a rebuild kit for it. So, we just want to do that. Put that back in here. Actually, I'm going to leave that so I can see blast it. Then on the third drawer, I forget what's in there. Oh, it's the gun. Third drawer. Oh, yeah. I have my, uh, my tile whiskey. I got to get a blow off. Oh, I forgot. Still the PT. So there's my tile wastegate. Uh, I think it's 80 pounds spring or I forget. But uh, it's a pretty big wastegate. It's pretty nice. Um, got this little miniature dump for it. It's a little mini 
tiny dump in. I'm probably gonna do right out the hood. I have this, but I'm probably not gonna use it. I'll probably use the flange off of it, but the rest of that's probably just junk. And I'm gonna do my own uh, hood stack. Um, got the exhaust housing right there for the Garrett 60. There's a random um, neon goodie solid bobble strut. So here's the oil pan we have. Um, it's already got a hole drilled in it, but I think I'm going to try to use the SRT oil pan, like I said. Where's the hole at? Oh, right, here's the hole. So I drilled this hole and put this fitting in there. I mean, it works. It's just not what I'm going to use. So I'm trying to use a different oil pan. Some shitty gauge bond. Uh, feed lines. What else is good in here? Got some more gas line for the uh for the neon. I guess this is uh some stock injectors. There's some 42 pounds out there from the people, so uh, nothing good in there honestly. Uh, behind here I have my long style manifold for the big turbo on the SRT swap or 2.4 turbo swap. Um, let's walk upstairs and show you what else we got. Also I have plans to install the second gen wheel that I really like and this hood prop. Also these different marker lights that I gotta get shaded off. Fog lights and uh... This lightweight flywheel that I took off for absolutely no reason. Um, I felt so stupid. They, like my clutch disc broke on me, you know. And I took, you know, I should have just replaced the clutch disc and put the, you know, pressure plate and the flywheel back on. But I'm stupid. I didn't think about it. Took everything off. I thought it all had to be one piece. And the subscriber's like, "Why well, did you take the flywheel off?" I'm like, "Cause I'm a douchebag." <laughs> that was a shitty laugh. But um. Yeah, I'm gonna put the lightweight flywheel back on after I get it resurfaced. Uh, buy a new clutch disc, buy another stage. I don't know, I'll probably get a stage three or four next time. Um, these are also the other fog light choice I have. They look really nice. Yeah. Um, but the problem is they don't have any way to mount them up, you know, they're just, you know, the blast types. I also have my stage four cams that really need, I need to buy a new exhaust one. I'm just too dead ass broke, especially losing my job and all the other bull crap that's been going on in life. But I need to put my stage four cams back in. These are Crowler um, stage four cams. That's all they are, full race. I just need to get one more new exhaust one. But I know the price that I'm going to pay for one new exhaust cam. I could buy both of them, so... Might end up buying a new set and just selling this one on the, the org or correct eBay or some shit like that. Um, but yeah, I have stage four cams that are going in. Into the great beyond. Into the beyond we are. So upstairs we have a couple other goodies for the big turbo build that I've been saving up. So first off we have our Devil's Own Meth Injection Kit. Um, saving this for a little while, you know, it's a good kit. Got it with a car. It's got a switch. Oh, the throttle body down there also has a switch that can be hooked up. So if you're wide open throttle, it'll spray. Um, I have this pretty cool snap on Mako screwdriver. A Mako tool guy donated to me. I told him what I was doing. And I told him I wanted to make a screwdriver shift knob. Nobody steal my fucking idea either. Um, he's like, dude, here's a brand new screwdriver. This is like a $40 screwdriver, so... Pretty sick. I want to pull it out, but it's impossible. You can see we've tried. Um, in here, just a shifty shift shift light. You know, it's actually a pretty one. It's a pretty good one. It's like Pro Sport or something like that. Pro Womp. And we also have our, if you can read that, it's an innovative wide band. It's a pretty good brand wide band. Um, you know, just does the job of a wide band. So we got that. So we can tune it. So all we need now is our Mega Squirt, so we can do a full standalone. And what else did I need? Oh, injectors. Then I can go to corn. And then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, E85 because the local gas station just got some gas, and it was E85. I also have this um, custom dash piece that we made up a while back, but 
I just don't know. I don't ever have enough gauges in my dash to ever want to use something like this. And I feel like it's too pricey. It screams pull me over. Because I street drive everything that I own. And uh, it's pretty cool, you know. That's where the stock vents would be. There's two more. And it's not too pricey. Except when I got it, you know, I painted it fucking green and I realized that was the biggest mistake I could ever make. But luckily, I plastic dipped it white before I did that and it made it a little bit easier to peel off. But as you can see, it's still pretty gross. So anyways, we were going to sand that the rest of the way down, paint it, maybe use it on the car. We haven't decided. We'll see when that day comes. There's a fuel rail that fell over here. Keep my fuel rails up here. Um, you guys can see real quick. There's Shay's trunk. Oh yeah, there was two other things up here that I had for the turbo build. There's Shay's trunk. And there's our hood. Anyways, here's the last two things. We have a full spoolable modded fuel tank with a Wolver 255 or a 555, whatever it's called. Um, bigger A in lines. All a I'll just be right back. Sorry, ran out of time again. But anyways, what we have here is, I think it's a A and 6 for the return, A and 8 for the, the supply, or A and 10 for the supply, A and 8 for the return. Um, the, the This regulator has been blocked off with a penny. And then we have the, uh, the spool boy mod, you know, to return gas to the pump so it doesn't start for pump. It's been rewired. Um, and the last, but no, oh, no, not the last yet. I got this. Um, I've been holding on to it. This is just basically a, a drip pan or a skid pan. So if you go to the track, it drips. You know, you don't get kicked off the track. You have your pan. So I've been saving that for a car that I wanted to keep. So that's just a nice lightweight aluminum pan to bore underneath. I could use that as a skid pan also for a neon, but whatever. But that fuel pump, that's just like brand new. Um, then we have, last but not least, the big front mount intercooler. I don't know if anybody saw that sitting underneath there. So we got that on the tray too. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. No dents, nothing. Actually, there is one little scratch right there. But whoop de doo But the rest of it's nice. There's maybe like five little dent coils in there. And they're probably from me, to be honest. Um... But yeah, I think that's about it we have for uh, for the turbo build. Um, I have all brand new polyurethane everything if I ever have to replace anything that's not already been replaced because it's all almost polyurethane already. So, But we do have a brand new polyurethane set that I might sell actually to put some money back into the SRT swap funds. Oh, I almost forgot. Where's it at? Last thing actually. This is the very last. You guys probably seen it and I probably just didn't say it. But we down here, we have another little setup that nobody else, not many people have. I don't want to say nobody else, but I have an individual uh, coil setup. I'm going to set up individual coils on the neon, so when I go mega square, I can adjust the, sp you know, how they do the spark and stuff. I don't really know anything about that shit yet, but I'm going to learn. I got all the pigtails. They're all perfectly, perfect length to go into a dual cam head. I don't have one here. All I gotta do is make a uh, thing that they can bolt to. You see there's holes. And um, on the valve cover there's two bolt holes that you can bolt it into. I can put some studs with some spacers and shit. Um, if anybody's interested in trying to figure that out. I have two extras. So. And I have one, two, three, four plus two extras. I cut off six just in case you know in case one was bad but i don't know if anybody's good at fabricating like the intake you know they can help me out or they live local and they want to help out with the a neon build you know if you want to see that shit go down got some lightweight wheels right here they're pretty nice they're my favorite probably my favorite wheels i own except for one of them has a big ass dent in it right here i don't give a fuck i'll still run I already got rear disc on my car. I was saving that because I didn't know if the car I was going to get had a rear disc. Because what I was really looking for is a two-door 95 Lapis Blue Neon. But good luck finding one that's mint. I'll be right back. I'm going to go back downstairs.
Okay, I guess that wasn't the last thing I had. I also have the adjustable cam gears that are for the uh, big turbo neon build. This fully built head that has crowler uh, valve springs, retainers, all that good shit. Um, that's on, on there already. Thermal intake manifold gasket. Um, we have the box intake. We got the individual coils. Um, I have a Mopar, but that's really not going to do me any good after I'm mega squirted. I think that's about it now. Yeah, I think that's about it. So all I really need is like a uh, more so um, or some kind of aluminum radiator, mega squirt injectors, because I want to get bigger injectors because I'm going for 600 horsepower. Um, what else do I need, buddy? Like I said, I'm doing a hood exit. And uh, open dump so if not I have the side exit exhaust right here just in case oh yeah I have all three inch pipe I was gonna make my own intercooler piping out of it's all aluminum it's really light you know I can balance this shit on one finger it's so light so I was thinking about making all my own intercooler piping I don't know how I can balance this for you see it's really light so I have two pieces I was contemplating making my own intercooler piping. Just going all big, you know. I don't want to go too big and make it not function, but yeah, I'm trying to go big, right, meat? We got some nice wheels for the car too, so the guys don't worry. We're not gonna be rocking ugly wheels forever. Summer gets here, we're putting the nice wheels back on the car. Right now, dude, this thing looks like shit. It looks like trash. I don't even want to drive. It's been sitting here since we swapped the tires. Look at this thing. Look at this shit, dude. It rubs bad, too. Look at this shit. Plus, I gotta paint the car. This shit looks terrible, dude. I was trying to do some BMX and backed into it. Can we see where it rubs? No. Nah. It was rubbing bad. I think it was up in there. There's a lip right there somewhere. I don't know if you guys can see it. Comes down. Oh, yeah. See right there? That loop. Yeah, that bitch fucking rubs. So, uh, I think that's everything we have for tonight. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. That little thumbs up down there. Um, if you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we post videos Monday through Friday. Um, if we miss a day, we post two a day or we pack two into one. Some way we make it up to you guys. Um, I have a giveaway coming soon, so stay tuned for that. It's nothing big or special, but it's just something to give back. You know, I have one of my friends, uh, a fan, a friend, help me out with this. So I'll have you guys go follow him. I'll leave his uh, his Instagram in the description below. But I'll just, you know, I'll do all this again whenever I announce that. Um, but yeah. We don't post on Saturday and Sundays because that's when me and Shay make the videos. Um, go follow her. Tell her she's awesome for, you know, working on this neon motor and the neons with me. You know, hers is, her Instagram is that underscore neon underscore channel. Mine is that neon channel, all one word, underscore 2.0. Um, you can also find us on Facebook if you want to look us up on that shit. Um, I'll put it in the description below, but you can probably look up that neon channel and find it. Um, everything as always will be in the description below. Uh, I think that's about it. But, yeah, again, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.